Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I want to show you a trick that an old timer taught me many years ago. And this trick will make the body on your lawnmower last forever. It will even outlive the engine on your machine. Now this simple trick will prevent your mower from looking like this guys. Look at this mower here, it's all rotted right through. I know this is extreme here, look at it, it's all rotted. But mowers can easily become that way if you don't do what I'm going to show you today. So basically what this old timer taught me is when you drain the oil out of your machine to do an oil change is save some of the oil, get a paintbrush, make sure you've scraped all the dirt from underneath the deck. And it might be preferable if you only add the oil after you do what I'm going to show you today, just so that it doesn't get into your engine and hydrolock it. And before doing this, just disconnect the spark plug for safety purposes. So basically make sure that's all cleaned up and you want your deck to be dry as well. And now with an old paintbrush and the oil that you just removed out of the engine, just basically paint it on all underneath the deck. And this oil is really going to soak into the metal. So all you have to do is cover the entire deck. You can even put some on the motor blade if you want. Now the advantages that you will get from doing this is obviously your deck's not going to rot like this one here. And the other benefit of doing this is that the grass itself will not be sticking on the deck as badly as it used to do in the past. Now what really rots the decks when the grass is stuck on it is that there's moisture that builds between the grass and the deck and that's what rots your deck. So by doing this, you're actually getting two benefits. You're not rotting the deck and the grass isn't sticking on it as much as it used to. Now, if you're not comfortable using the old engine oil, you can use some crown spray like this, or you can buy stuff like this here. And there's also a can of fluid film you can buy in liquid form and use a paintbrush as well. I find using a paintbrush and brushing on some, some fluid or the oil like this works better than actually spraying fluid on the deck. So this is super easy to do and it's the best thing you can do to preserve your deck. Now if you want you can do this once a year when you change the oil or you can do it multiple times. It's entirely up to you. The more you do it the longer your deck will last. Now I try to do it as quick as I can just so that fluids don't leak out of the machine. You can see a bit of the gas came out and basically if you're going to flip it over on its side always make sure your air filter is facing in the up position because if you flip it this way and the filter's down, what can happen is it will get full of fuel and sometimes I've seen them get full of oil, especially on the older Tecumseh engines. And if your filter gets saturated with oil and gas, you will have to replace it because the machine won't be able to breathe through it. No air is going to pass through it. Your machine's going to run poorly, just like as if the choke was on permanently. And when you're done doing this, make sure to reconnect your spark plug boot. And now that I'm done, I'm going to add the oil in there. And the oil that I use for lawn mowers is 10W30. And again, if you do this periodically, your mower will avoid looking like this one over here. So if you like this lawnmower tip, guys, please like the video and share it. And make sure you're subscribed. Have a great day.